is part 17. This is part 17. All right, so good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is officially time to continue our playthrough of Danganronpa. This is the chapter four trial start. So this will be Danganronpa, Danganronpa. I know, it's always so fucking loud. Danganronpa, part 14. No, fuck. Part 16. Fuck me. I don't know what it is. Part 17. I wasn't even close at all. Hi, YouTube. Danganronpa. Danganronpa, part 17, officially. I'm an idiot. But hey, here we go. It is time for the trial. Chapter four. Let us proceed. It's my dad's favorite game. Now then, let's begin In with a simple, simple explanation, explanation of the class, class trial. trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... My money is still on Soda. I'll He's the only person that had the tech will know how to make this shit work. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. Can't be Nagito, because he I'm was surprised. Sure you guys are starving by now, but let's get revved up and raring to go. Whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch. Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu. Huh? I'm not the main ingredient, right? I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. I'm going to be the one who After this, we have so many gotcha I'll coins to spend. We have like, we're going to have like 400. Is. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it? Uh, Akane, you seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. Hey, why don't we try going over the incident? I'm beginning to think to that Sonya house. might be the traitor. So I want to make sure we get a detailed um, understanding. Just because she was the only person we could really hang out with. I discovered Nekomaro's body a little before seven. I also like that he has a knife and fork over I his over face. I the tower from Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that early in the morning? Don't tell me you three were together since last night! Calm down, buddy. Hey, so I am not some woman with flexible legs. Uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. With legs like those, I could probably do the splits really I easy. don't know. So uh, behind the voice actor dot com. Went to the tower together. And then, the three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. We heard the body discovery announcement too, from Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, we found out the elevator was out of order, which left us stuck. So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. But someone even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. We couldn't go anywhere because of that. Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. Forget these boring intros. Let's talk about the killer. Anyway, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. What do you mean, definitely? There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. She's right, but so not for this reason. it must be one reason. of you Strawberry House dudes. One of you better hurry up and confess, or I'll break all of you in half! You're the coolest one here! Now, now. Enough with the lovers' quarrel. We need to think about this seriously. We don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things. The incident this time has many questions. 
The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. Then let's start with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. Well, the weapon is obvious, right? Huh. What the heck, you guys? The weapon! You can totally tell just by looking. The hammer was the only thing that looked like a weapon, but it was clean. It was like brand new. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime! That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him! False. No, that's wrong! It's brand new, dude. It's all good. You're just in time, demon. No, I can't I've got to ping you guys anyway, I'm sorry. Me. I suck. What episode are you guys up to with, with uh, demon? No, you're wrong! A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body, just like human blood, right? The hammer was used to beat Nekomaru. You'd expect some oil to be on it, at least. Why were there man flowing? But that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. Well, yeah, but killer might have wiped off the oil later. Why? Well, obviously to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. <clears throat> then why bother cleaning the oil? Final three. If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. Fruits basket is adorable. Is this your first time watching Bebop? You're pretty insightful, baby gangsta. Baby gangsta? Me? Just so you all know, I was trying to test you guys. Akane and I Baby Gangsta is not a bad combo. Oh man, you're something. gonna fucking cry. It seems that Everyone cries. Time. There, there, there's a, there's the a like fucking rules of Cowboy Bebop. That's the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? A big so part of it, it however, is is the, the the version weapon. of so um, real folk blues that plays at the end. Like the, it's a super stripped down, washed out version of the track, and it's just so it's literally perfect. Somewhere I have Cowboy Bebop, and we should all watch it together. Yeah, it should. That's like one of my Nobody prized possessions. Blow from that killer. Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Why? We tried to move it, right? It, I, if you're working from Home Reliant, I'm forcing you to watch it. Yeah, I wanted to get it, but I couldn't afford the $200 at the time. I really wanted the OST on vinyl. It's... Can, um, can someone do a quick Google search and see how much the vinyl's trending for? Discogs probably has the best price. Thank you for the follow. So he lifted the pillar and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? He was lifting the pillars. killed himself? Don't be stupid! He's the type to commit suicide! Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, that's nothing to do with the case at all! Koi Nakachi, give me the big sad. Well, I guess you're right. What the heck? That's bullshit, Reliant. You should just, you should just tell your boss I'm working from home from now on. But that's a problem. If it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. 
Um, Make a robot maybe, version of yourself to, to do it. Duh. As a without lifting it. Huh? For reals? Yes, for reals. I see. So my gut was right after all. All right. It's up to you, Sonia. Prove that pillar was the murder. My weapon. dad said so. Understood. Always the best I excuse. Shall give it my all. Sonia, here I go. There's no need to lift that pillar. If the pillar was not lifted, beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? No, that's wrong. Because there are pieces of the pillar underneath him. If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Huh? Fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. Uh, I see. That was entirely my bad. If they didn't tip it over, then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? How much longer are you gonna focus on the pillar? Just let it go already! There, there's no way I can let it go. I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. But we can't say for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Is that true? Then I shall ask you, what way is that? You guys, same as usual. You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. So you just stand there and falter. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should lend a hand. Hey, Nagito. What the hell happened to you? How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. What do you mean? Who cares? Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill! Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. But when combined with a specific item, there's a way it could be possible. A specific item? Of course. The ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon? Isn't that the thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? They've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon. I am he who cuts the insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory. It's only fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon. No, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon, since you wield your four dark devils of destruction. Uh, what's the, what is the pricing? I, I see. I don't know why, but I'm And yes, like automation it. is taking jobs, but there are still things that humans are absolutely clearly. necessary to what do. What is the ultimate weapon? Sorry, I zoned the fuck out there. That, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Oh my god, fuck the funhouse. Huh? It's 
Very simple. It's multi-leveled. You just don't realize that it's multiple levels. get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Except for Hajime? We make it out of this. And the elevator rotates. For the entire set is only a hundred dollars Australian. Like the entire vinyl set. So that's only like sixty-five US dollars. Strawberry house leads to strawberry tower, and grape house leads to grape tower. Uh, the same. It's, the tower is the same. But in actuality, they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the central tower. It is undeniable that such a sweet building structure is the secret of the fun house. Yeah, not only does that make perfect sense, but Miss Sonia's beautiful voice is just so sweet. Oh, show! I shall leave this matter to your discretion. They're also connected by the elevator. They butt up against each other. Strange feeling in the tower. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. No, they're not. Shut no, up. That's wrong. Both of those towers, are they really the same place? What? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? You? Hajime, I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. I mean, doesn't it seem strange? When we went to Great Tower from Great Hall, Nakamura's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. But when we went to Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall, his body was in front of the door to Great Hall. Areas of Grape Hall are also taped off it's for some reason. Probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. If it is, then you see, that means it could have passed in the exact same place, right? If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Does that mean he's wrong? Oops, I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building again. Bow down! Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. While we were moving from Great Tower to Strawberry Tower? But we should have all been together. Yeah, wow, I'm seeing this for like 60 bucks. That's dope. Monokuma did it. While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. But Nekomaru's body wasn't the only thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Just like if there is no bread, let them eat cake. I, I don't think that's what you mean, but okay. Alright, I need to fucking remember the controls for this. such a short time that might be hard even for monokuma don't you think it seems you have forgotten monokuma is surprisingly still wielding the power of the piece of pillar of the body everything could have moved it yeah. out of your time it seems you have forgotten 
The oil on the floor didn't move. There it is. Allow me to cut through those words. Where are you? Are you? Are, is it in store anywhere, Demon? Or is it like on eBay and stuff? When the position of Nekomaru's body in the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Then it's impossible uh, can you shoot me a link? Move. I, I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I got so fired up. It's all right. Because that's been on... Uh, I passed awesome that one up because the price was just too fucking so insane. Really and I also didn't need another set of DVDs or Blu-rays or whatever. Hmm. We can't be certain of that either. Not Hola, Alpaca! Que pasa, mijo? Hey, my dream buddy <laughs> Alpaca's here! Yeah, the e-handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building, or two different buildings, then what are they? It's still embarrassing. No idea, huh? No, but Nagito does. Nagito's seen it. Hey, Nagito. I thought it would come to this. I knew my turn was coming up. We're holding up pretty well. This is week three, week four. Week four of lockdown. We still have realistically three more weeks to go. Um, but we're doing okay. My job is secure for the next bit of time. Shelby's still really busy. So, yeah. We're doing the best we can. We're staying in, saving our monies. Fucking just doing, doing, living our best life, dude. Eating really healthy, trying to exercise. Um, I PB eat a lot near Atomida. Your hint is any good? It's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. Maybe I'm only allowed to PB on Thursday and Friday, or uh, Friday and Saturday. The last the couple of PBs have been on Fridays and Saturdays. Because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. Have you wrapped that bad boy up? I see. Wrap it, elevate it, and soak and have some salt, my guy. Dead, right? Ask Alpaca, he's a doctor. You cleared the I don't think he is, I'm just gonna say some. he is, though. That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, maybe I can only do weekend PBs. Instead of explaining it, <laughs> I haven't talked to Katarg in, in, in a while. Have you and have you spoken to him time, at all, Alpaca? I found a perfect camera in the final dead room. Yeah. Picture. Nah, I'm gonna push hard on Nier Automata yep. runs tomorrow. I wanna push super hard. And then we'll do a little bit of 15 and then maybe like an hour of Witcher. Do a short cleanup See? stream for Witcher. This is it. Let me explain it to you again. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House from the secret room within the final dead room. But don't you think it's weird? Yeah, it's, it's definitely not the first floor. What you guys have been thinking. <laughs> then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Adam Goldfish, bye-bye. Yeah, you want actual snacking? Let's begin. 
Shall I call it? Yeah, you're just too busy, Alpaca. I get it. Like, I haven't been to her stream in a good bit of time. Just because we stream at literally the same time now. Well, if we're on the first floor, we shouldn't be this high. Also, there was no forest either. The structure of the front house is what we thought it was. We're not in the actual building. Grape house and strawberry house should link to the tower in the middle. Which means, if you're viewing the tower from strawberry house, you should see grape house behind you. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no grape house at all. I see. And is that it? What? what? Let me see if I can get this on stream. Yes, yes, he is. Condor. He has no answers for his behavior. <clears throat> None whatsoever. That's weird. I think he likes anything that he can sit in because he's fat. You said this photo was taken from the hidden room inside the final bedroom, right? That's the case. Let's go back. It should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry. I'll stop. Yeah, it should have been. Oh, I'm sorry. Then this is definitely strange. I told you I would. You're like, no, you won't. I was like, yeah, this well. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. <sighs> Angle suggests it was taken from higher up. Keep it from here. Oh. That's right. Good call. In summary, this is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area, and Grape House is not behind the tower. It's not. Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell Absolutely not. cursed eye? From this point on, also, where's Quaz? Quaz is normally here now for Dingle Dangle. Finally met the same requirements as me. If you guys are truly symbols of hope, you can easily solve a simple mystery like this. It might be possible for Hajime to solve it too, even though he's just a normal high school student. Wow, bro, uncalled for. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, you already know about the other clue. Okay, we'll get the cat a house. Chigare time. Dude, Nagito is being a fucking... This is absolutely small dick energy. Beating up a fellow king like that. Upset that we made fun of you. Just you got big Where do you think I came from? You got hoops. The top floor, right? My so eyes. Sharp eyes. Realized it all yeah, it's a really nice night out. Windows still open so feels great. But the Monokuma archive should be the only room on the third floor of Great House. What does it mean? In case you haven't figured out, they're on top of each other. Uh, how do I jump again? There it is. That's embarrassing. Ow. Fuck. 
second game. Not gonna get the, the S rank. Dude, this is like the dumbest minigame ever, by the way. They're the same building. They are stacked on top of each other. stacked vertically yeah especially oh jesus especially badly timed rhythm games it's all coming together it's all coming together got it i know the secret of the funhouse then let yeah. me it. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? Dude, Atlantis and Cage 2 makes me want to fucking eat And the picture eat a Nagito bullet. took from Strawberry House. I didn't see Grape House at all. What, so you gonna, did Grape under, House you didn't bring it back? There was only one possibility. It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Which means Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building, different floors? Then, the two houses aren't two different three-story buildings. They're actually one six-story building? Correct. You think about it like that. Based on Finny fun is horrible. It's clear where Strawberry House is located. BBS has that horrible racing minigame, I think, which is also awful. Strawberry Let's House see. is above. On top of Grape House. That's where Strawberry House is located. Because, because that's where that, that picture was taken the from. The photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. Altogether, this means the first floor of Strawberry House lucky, is lucky, also lucky. the fourth floor above Grape House. Oh snap! I never expected that the two houses were connected vertically. But what about the shape of the yep. building? The two houses were completely different shapes. Um, Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? It never occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. A quadrilateral and a hexagon overlaid atop each other to misdirect how we would perceive them. Yep. We couldn't actually use the corners of the it hexagon. Worked, didn't it? Disregarding the tower. Welcome back, John. We fully believe the two houses were two separate distinct buildings. In order to <laughs> the I was okay at Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. I just never had the interest to speed run it. Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. All right. <laughs> Don't you think a building full of so many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house? Then it's true? The building was really like that? That's right. Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building. Constructing a building like that on your own without my knowledge? How horrible. Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors inside the same building. Just like Boba, your record's still not shit. 
Man will be here Saturday. Yes, see? However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Ah, your precious hammies don't know. But it's so simple. All right, then. I'll be the one who solved this mystery in a flash. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. Oh, I see. Do whatever you like. Oh, definitely make her watch me. I'm gonna oh, stand out that, uh, she that might be here tomorrow. in one of the towers was actually a dummy I don't know about that no idiot. that's wrong <laughs> Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy that can be proven by Kazuichi's account <sighs> me remember when we moved from grape tower to strawberry tower we thought the body had moved and that's when you said Until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body. Great yeah, time, that's right? like what down to like almost 50, 60 bucks now, and it's literally the all the Kingdom Hearts games for PS4, so I believe. Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, well, uh, I've had this then thing it would be a my ear story. for a couple of weeks. I don't like it. <laughs> Miss Sonia, like, that's a pretty harsh joke. <laughs> you are joking. Right? It's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator good. or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer uh, if it stayed broken. Squeeze the shit out of it. Nothing out of it. I see. That uh, is disappointing. Maybe it's like a massive door over here. Just slice it open. However. Even if Nekomaru's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we That's don't weird have the have important a answer on the back of my head. The reason Nekomaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on a different Shelby floor. is a very big Kingdom Hearts fan, did not even finish Cage 3. I moved to what? a different floor? Yeah, didn't even come Did close. I don't know. I think it was too long and the magic kind of faded. Like, I liked him as well, even though the, com the combat was very simplistic. And this comes from someone who plays Nier Automata in Final Fantasy XV, so take that as you will. Oh boy, it's my favorite game. What's the device that moves to different... Oh, that's an elevator. This will be easy. Uh, excuse you? Oops. Oh, fuck, dude. I can't spell elevator. Don't fucking laugh at me. Fuck you. There we go. Big dingus. Ele elevator. You 
must be talking Dude, about that is, I think, one of the fucking funniest things I have ever seen. Um, I wish I was a, a full part of it, but like watching it, that was hilarious. Um, for those that weren't around for it, it was what? Spike Vegeta. The inside of the tower is one big elevator. At zero and somebody else, I think we're doing dream drop distance, and it, the, the entire runs balloons, but they filled pretty much the entire front viewing area of the limit break, like where the where the runs were going on with balloons. Yeah, just link the bot. It is, it is absurd. If you've ever, if you want to see Spike Vegeta wearing a balloon hat for an for like two hours, it's great. Oh, Sometimes it's fucking hilarious. It, it's it's it just a, a scream. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive, just like an elevator. Correct. <sighs> Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator, then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? Yeah, that was Taco Night, I think. And a picture of a grape on the far back door when yeah, you Yeah, Spike's a very tower. easy person to get a, to to just get along with and talk to. Definitely more accessible at if Limit Break than he is at um, like an GDQs. He's very There's busy no at GDQs. Reason for the doors to change. Michael Goldfish. Plus, after the incident, <laughs> the the Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. Wrapped around it, right? Yeah, in his underwear. No, yeah, and like but that's it. Like it's. I'm not saying it to be mean, to Spike. I love Spike. He is a genuine, just kind-hearted person. Um, Spike is very loud, and it's not just. It's not like he intentionally talks really loud. Like his voice just naturally fucking varies. They ha he has his own setting on the mixing board. Okay. Fucking minus 16 dB. There's just something about his voice that projects. It just really cuts through the air. Let's put aside what's changed. Like, <clears throat> for those of you that went to GDQ last year, the fucking, the ball, it's literally like an entire ballroom. Like, full-size ass ballroom. Whole ass motherfucker. And Spike Vegeta's on the side doing interviews. You can hear him over the, the monitors, which is insane. <laughs> Spike Spike has a joy for life that I think a lot of us could learn from. On the floor. Yes, we are, PX. How are you, brother? I hope you're doing well. Having a terrific night. Uh... And? And? Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. The reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. Um. Fucking. Damn it. Ah. Wow, Seth, get out of here. That's it. The elevator was designed so only the Um Peco Peco is the only one that that oh, I has now? died that I really wanted to to get the full encumbrance with. Which means Sadly. the whole room wasn't an elevator. Only the floor was. That's why we saw different doors in each tower. Which means on the first floor of Great Tower. The door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, yep. which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back wall had a grape design. Then Look at Pavarotti, man. He babies that voice. Yeah, this this one, I have a feeling it's getting it's continuing to get techy. Probably just for show. Just for show? Why was something like that necessary? 
so we'd falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. <laughs> There's no way that's gonna happen! Stop with the tasteless jokes! By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was... probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why? Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, Dude. right? Yo, can we all take a moment to roast Seth for fucking falling asleep in the goddamn Discord call and fucking cutting us some goddamn lumber? I should have recorded it. Shit was fucking hilarious. Fucking made me miss an entire episode of anime, too. Yeah. Singing, singing or projecting your voice takes a lot of, a lot of diaphragm and chest muscle to get it out there. The killer destroyed the strawberry hall, but so we'd stay <laughs> it was away funny. From strawberry tower. We just sat there roasting them. It's a good time. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence. So we wouldn't I know with, with my microphone settings, I actually run it pretty weird. Uh, my main mic is minus 7.8 dB, but I'm also running a compressor at 11 to 1 uh, with a negative 18 dB threshold, uh, running a 4.3 gain and a noise gate at negative 26, negative 21 for close open. So my shit's pretty tight. And using that but as a I clue, don't think uh, I don't think I'm super truth. loud, but I'm definitely louder than like say the average person. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. I could have server muted you, but I was laughing too fucking that. hard. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that. This is also a lot of work Would for one really person. This might be one of those double murder cases. The <sighs> it would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this fun house is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon. Oh yeah, that's how I, I did it by feel basically. Like I, when I was initially setting it up with this new mic, whatever that was, like two years ago, I just sat around for 30 minutes and played with it and talked and adjusted it and picked which one I like. Fine already. Gundam, please proceed. Basically, it's just like. For me, figuring out is how loud I, like the loudest that I normally get and making sure that I'm like one step on top of that so I don't redline. I hate, I fucking hate PP audio. It's like, I, that shit drives me insane. Like if I come into your stream and it's just like, you know, there's like that kind of fuzz and like the clear overdrive. It's like, dude, I cannot, cannot handle it. elevator moves vertically. Then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But does this reflect reality? Inside Great House. Yeah, great exactly. That's what right I, I always run it with elevator. threshold and I always have headroom. Rule number the rule number one of the fucking Inside DJ Strawberry Gospel. House, Strawberry Hall Don't redline it, dog. Leave some headroom. Never run your master Which full means, out. You'll just track volume individually if you have to to get it up tower. there. Answer me, fiend. What does this mean? What does this mean? I'm beginning to think it isn't Soda. He's not smart enough to do all this. Or understand how this works.
I think he's the patsy, yeah. Yo, have a good one, Dad. I hope I hope you, you my dad's really smart with this logic shit. He's probably figured out half of what's going on. Um, Fuyuhiko's account is the elevator. Who's, who's up, 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 up. The elevator should move. Vertically, not horizontally. Okay. However, at both houses. It does it doesn't move that way you. though. But we need Soda's account. He was the one who talked about the directions. elevator. Which means your reasoning is clearly contradictory. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Basically, the tower, the, the, the buildings aren't connected the by an elevator, move. they're on top of each other. And Vertically only the floor moves in the tower. No, that's wrong! But the elevator can't be moving vertically, because they already mentioned multiple times there's no sensation of it the going up and down. Just moving vertically. Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Uh, me? Uh, come on. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass knocking. And the compass rotated right? 180. Ah, that. Yeah, that's pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it, rotated. it also rotated 180 degrees. Which would also explain why it was so smooth and wouldn't jar to a stop. And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Great House appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? We are in, a, in an amusement, an amusement park for you, Hiko. Well, a fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know. And it, it, it's it's making really sense as they build it. Structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. That's not splendid at all. <laughs> humans so we're done with the secret of the fun house right then let's start talking about the important stuff what's the ultimate weapon that killed nekomaru and how they combine it with the pillar huh you still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet it's what i found at the octagon you know what is the octagon i haven't heard about that yet I can't believe I have to Human Echo, that. yeah, I have to add it to my Steam wish list or watch list you know or whatever the fuck it is. Means. You can solve this simple mystery easily. Octagon is an eight-sided shape. Octo. If I recall, an octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, you're quite knowledgeable. I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? Idiot. Here. Yeah, the oxygen would have to be there so you could see it. You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. 
Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. That's basically the gist of it. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the Octagon. Learn? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is oh, the Oh shit, house. okay, that's not even the... Which means I can't the even find copies of the official of soundtrack. I've been looking at the, the unofficial one from the Netherlands. Like me, the killer. Probably realize the secret it seems like one of those things that the people who own it are really fucking want it. Use of the building structure. It's a two by. The fun house itself is the weapon, so they killed using the building structure. That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly. Yep, doesn't even exist on the internet. Spectacular crime. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. None for sale. Fuck. Wish that was still available. I'd buy that for 20 euro. All right. Does not exist. They have the bootleg version. Maybe I'll track a copy down at some point. No, it. So they. I think they only released like. I think they. It was limited to like 250 or 500 uh, pressings of the vinyl that was like involved in that entire like Blu ray set that was like two three hundred dollars okay, so to be honest the people that spent the money on it are not they're they're collectors they're not trying to flip it or let go of it like they want it because it means that much to them there's a lot of stuff like that uh i have a few things like the near automata records you really don't see them getting flipped very often um the persona 5 especially the limited edition one that was pressed I bought it when it came back out on I Am 8-Bit, and the cheapest you can find it now is $200. It's literally like people just selling it because they really don't want to get rid of it, but they could use the money. My heart's thumping like crazy. I might as well have a laid-back, so what, attitude, and go ahead with my energy. Is Zoom and Echo just like this? Kind of like a VN? Ah, but be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. And just like I say each time, don't forget to say it frequently. I... I never... expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well. It's a sound novel? I... Okay. Is it really alright to accept a situation so easily? Oh, well, what do I want for Schneeki? I mean, that's not what's important. The thing that's awesome. really important is... The killer who used the know, building Rita. structure. Like, who's Mekumaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. Music There's and no atmosphere, dope. I... I'm gonna take a second and get some songs. Probably you need to play down some of the
<laughs> you have such a weird. An industrial size. Want some sales, Baba? Nah. Okay. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but I will sincerely retract that remark. Retract? I'm disappointed too, you know. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods, per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing oh, others Jesus. for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I see. It's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. Uh, Akane! You're drooling waterfalls? Anyway, if the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nekomaru. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Exactly, Sharky. That's why I eat so much, too. He fell. He goes up and down. He fell. I think he might have died from falling. Died from falling? If the Funhouse's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected, then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That, I don't know yet. <laughs> don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Mm, but my gut is going crazy right now. on the first floor. You can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? 
As long as there's a moving object inside. No, you put him wrong. to sleep. Otherwise, he probably would have put up a fight. That sensor should only work if something is moving. <laughs> now the question is, how was he, how was he put to sleep? Could it be his sleep mode? The Nekomoro's goodnight button is pressed. All of his functions shut down, and he enters sleep. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed it, right? I see. So that's how... However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall. I would and love die to eat from. some bombs. Yes. That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. Silence, pest. Now you're calling me a pest? So the only other options left are. Gundam and Nagito. If you arrange it as Damn it, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, that's typical high school in Japan. Um, if you're not murdering your classmates, you're not going to get ahead in life, you know? You can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is... No, it's not the doorknob. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? We've already talked about both of those oil on the floor. I already covered that. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. I agree with that. Also, the wire. Didn't the doorknob have straight marks on it? <laughs> exactly, Bubby. That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekomaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... If he did something like that, he would have been suspended in mid-air! That's right. He was suspended in mid-air. Huh? There was a lot of wire. The killer tied up Nekomaru with the wire while he was in sleep mode. And then move the elevator. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Great Tower. And suspended Nakamaru in midair. That's right! He was so well hung! <laughs> kind of like. Okay. The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the I'm pretty sure it's one, at least one of the dudes, but not Soda. That, they created a drop so Nekomaru could fall to his death. Too easy. So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. What? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Ah, uh, the alarm timer. Wire, how would they make him fall? 
There's no one in the tower to put. There's no way they could do that. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Allow me to cut through those words. What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? What are you saying? Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. I don't know. I just hear you moving around. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. What? Why you see, Ababa? If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue on. why. Yeah, you're doing a perfect job. If something like that happened to you, you well. would start panicking a lot, right? Oh, well, that's just because you have a lot of your heat. body would start moving. Nekomaru probably like did exactly that. How many jobs I've been working on since I started and I still don't know. Then, in order to make it fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob uh -huh. so it would you're easily slip off. That. In actuality, uh -huh. hey, the you're not the only one caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? Doing a great job. But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? He fell because the entire doorknob came off. When Nekomaru woke, yeah. he Absolutely. must have struggled much more than expected, yeah, which no, caused the doorknob to break off. Good. Was that unexpected for the killer, too? Well, that's probably it. That. If they knew it would leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least okay. tried to do something to cover it up. Oh, why would you want to do it? Okay. All right, we're taking Thursday off, motherfuckers. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. No. Close for forever, but work. In the rat. No, I agree. No, I can totally understand. Huh? Two for this. I apologize. I see. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. You finally understand now? You would take off to the Thursday. We are off Thursday. Fuck all of you. Can't make me stream. Yeah. I'm just a no, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so. What? No, I believe you gave your all. Hey, why aren't you teasing me anymore? Okay. I am down with that. He gets off on this. Time to watch so some anime. thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru yeah. ended we'll up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too. That's right? a ser good. Maybe I'll teach you how to speed run near. Oh, okay. I see. Meliodas. Yeah, I was wondering why he sounded floor. familiar. He's Meliodas is, is a cool Isn't character. He is a real character. Finally, He's a the real character. So that's how the pillar yep. shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. Shelby says I can't wear Gouther outside anymore. Strange my women try and touch my stomach. So right. it's, it's very well, awkward. The pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. Okay, you want At some tuckers? It is quite yeah. difficult. We're gonna tuck Shelby in. Yeah, yeah Gouther. Everyone say night to Shelby. Night, night, Shelby.
Alexa, turn off bed light. And we will okay. be right back you. Take this as your time to stretch and get water. I'm probably going to go to the bathroom really quick, too. Where is my mouse? There it is. I'll put on some tunes real quick as well. Right back. Candy on. Time to break out the very, very broken Pocky. Alright, anyway, I'm not for action shenanigans. Let us continue. Make sure everything looking good, everything looking smooth. Let's roll. Then what about the alarm? I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. And if we map it out from there... Hold on, baby gangsta! The clocks are set differently. Stop calling me baby gangsta! What'd you just say? Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? You didn't check it yourself. Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. N now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way I could be late for Monica it's not and soda. Team, so I left so it's either Nagito, Gundam, or the both of them. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? That's what I want to know! Hey, that's all good, Escudo. How you doing, fam? See what we got. Radio clock. His. I, I'm gonna go with this one because that I can't be wrong. That's the only thing that we know is absolutely true. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7:30 a.m. That is correct. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. False. Killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. Can't. Radio no, that's clock. Wrong. Lazy day. Hell yeah, dude. No, the clock inside his oh, chest. Oh yeah, was I a saw. How, so have you gotten a chance to play with any of them? How are they? How do you like them? So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with the clock? Correct. Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. The clock inside Grape House? No. Both I checked clocks all the fucked. clocks inside the front house. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. Oh, I'm gonna have a and glass of sake of here. That, glass number. I can well, confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time display. Yeah, but they're both no wrong. Guaranteed. That the time was tampered with. Then we must doubt that human's testimony. Please believe me. We are not lying. Then maybe it's a misunderstanding. I never misunderstand. I'll crush you into dog food. My brain is starting to hurt, though. We only have a few bits of evidence left, so we gotta be coming towards the end here. Fuck. Alright. Also, why does he ride Goofy?
the time in the building. The, the two clocks on the wall have to be wrong. Yeah, this one got tricky as shit all of a sudden. Just the building clocks, because you can't tamper with Nekamaru's clock. Both houses have the wrong time. Both clocks had to be tampered with. Yeah, it's not the best. Oh, I know this is gonna be a very, very long explanation. And it's my sneaking suspicion that there are two killers because these murders have been mirrored in some way from game one. That means there's two murders here. Yeah, none of the clocks had the wrong time. But what if Which leaves it that it's Nagito and Gundam, but nothing nothing has really led right. me to verify that yet. All the clocks. So even if you checked all the clocks inside the building, there's no way you'd have noticed it. Nagito is the only one that knows the building layout. That's the only thing so I have against him right now. With the time inside the whole building by changing all the clocks. <laughs> so that's what it was. There's no way I would have noticed that. This is truly fantastic! Now's not the time to be pleased. More importantly, how much was the time off? I, I think it's like an hour though, because Akane said she woke up to a sound. I like 6.30, I think. Nope, oh, there it is. If the time in the building was all messed up, then we can only rely on Nekomaru's radio clock. The time of death. It's clearly 7.30 a.m. The problem is, what time would 7.30 be? in our time. Are there any clues that can be used to narrow that down? Yes, if Akane's account. The sound when you fell. Akane I did. Agree with that. That's right. We should have heard the sound he made when he fell. Wasn't it that rumbling noise? Rumbling? I thought it was just an earthquake, so I went back to sleep. Was that the sound from when Nekomaru fell? Well, the huge body fell from the fourth floor to the first, and the pillar fell with it. It's obvious we'd hear the impact sound. We heard that noise too. Correct. It was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Lounge. What is it, Sonia? Oh, well, that sound everyone heard? I did not hear it at all. Huh? You probably didn't hear it because you were sleeping. I could not sleep at all. I was awake the whole night with hunger pangs. There's nothing to worry about. What's important is that rumbling noise anyway. If we use that rumbling sound as a reference, we might be able to figure out how much our time was off. I heard that sound probably around 5.30 in the morning. Huh? You can tell? I instantly woke up and left my room. And that's when I saw the clock in the lounge. That's a lot of work, Akane.
two hours. Nakamura's alarm it was 5.30. And if we heard the sound of his impact Not 6.30. There we go. That means our time is off by two hours. I'm not really super dumb. Two hours? That much? We were starving pretty badly. There's no way we would have noticed. Plus, the funhouse has no windows. And there weren't any Monokuma announcements either. However, for what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? The reason is obvious. So they can lure out just Nekomaru. If you messed with the clocks and used a specific thing, you definitely get Nekomaru to the tower alone, right? From there, the killer's plan was a splendid success. That's all it means. It was the Tai Chi. I see. Easy, mates. That's it. Fucking the easy. Use of the Monokuma Tai Chi activity in the morning. How did they use it? We were required to go to Great Tower every morning at 7 a.m. for that activity, right? But if they mess with all the clocks inside the building, what would that do to us? We'd miss it. We wouldn't be able to attend on time, but that wouldn't affect Nekomaru. This radio clock had the exact time. That's right. In doing so, the killer was able to lure him to the tower by himself at the precise time. When I witnessed Nekomaru early in the morning, if I recall, Witness Nekomaru around 5 a.m. And if that time was also two hours off, it should have been 7 a.m. Yeah, that's pretty much it. At that time, he was heading over to Monokuma Tai Chi, right on schedule. I see. Now that I think about it, I realize what Monokuma meant when he said those words. He got picked up along the way. When you said everyone, you were including us, right? We thought we came to the tower on time, but in truth, it was way past the meeting time. Ah, jeez! That's, well, how should I put it? Um, what was it? You know, tripping over a foot or something like that. Are you talking about tripping over someone else's fault? Okay. Wrong! Too bad! Fire? I'm right! That's not it! It's incorrect! Th that's definitely the correct answer. You always get so stubborn like this. Let's just ignore the peanut gallery. Now that we've found out how the killer lured Nekomaru, the number of suspects has drastically decreased. Yeah, it's pretty much you and hey, fucking. How would that decrease the number of suspects? Don't it's literally now you telling Gundam. You'll know I'm not lying when you listen to what Fuyu is going to say next. Huh? What the hell do you mean? You witnessed Nekomaru going toward the tower. Something else happened after that? Are you talking about that alarm? Hmm. Alarm? A little while after I witnessed Nekomaru, the clock in the Strawberry House Lounge started going off. Plus, it was just before that rumbling sound occurred. That's it. So that's what it is. And it was if him Nekomaru and Soda that were there. When the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the prime suspect. There's Soda's alibi. Is there anyone who didn't have an alibi at that time? I remember now. The sound was so loud I couldn't help bolting from my room. But there was one guy who never left the lounge. 
they were both on the same floor. It's pretty weird that Bastard never came out of his guest room. Which means that person does not have an alibi for when Nekomaru fell? Who is it? Who's the bastard? Nagito does not actively have an alibi. I don't think it's Nagito, but I know he doesn't have an alibi. The one who wasn't there. It's you. Right, Nagito? Dude, my brain is right. screaming Nagito right now, Demon. <laughs> it can't be Nagito, it's too easy. You didn't come out, even though the alarm was going off like crazy. He was in the del deluxe room you though, which was soundproof. Were you? If that's the case, where were you? Please, say something! If you don't hurry up and answer, I'm gonna suicide dive you! If I may be frank, even if I wanted to go to the lounge, I couldn't. You couldn't? What do you mean? <laughs> it's merely the foolish talk of things. Not only did I not hear the alarm, I never even heard that rumbling sound. Definitely fucking lying. Uh, however, that is also true for me. It is obvious that I did not hear the alarm in Strawberry House. But I did not hear the rumbling sound either. Is that not strange? I mean, everyone else heard it. To be honest, it's not just them. The same goes for me too. I was in a pretty <clears throat> deep sleep. So I thought that's why I couldn't hear it, but it wasn't that. I probably couldn't hear it at all. Couldn't hear it? What does that mean? You still don't know. Think about what the three of us who didn't hear a sound have in common, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. They're all in the watch rooms. Nah, fuck, I have to do spelling again. Fuck me. The watch rooms fits, though. on a bone feeling like a boneless ham dude it's so big so big and angry i want it to be so big That's an interesting one. Oh, fuck my anus. Fuck, idiot. Wrong button. Yeah, hey, what's up, Shaddy? All right, brother. Yeah, I know. I don't use speed up because I like to be all fucking tactical and shit. You know, look like a badass. If I recall, the deluxe rooms are. Shitty rooms. I stayed in the shitty room. Akane stayed in the shitty room. The reason we could not hear the rumbling noise. That's 
right. It was because the deluxe rooms have superior sound insulation. You actually noticed that. Nice catch. Yeah, Hangman's hey, Gambit fucking is slow your shit. Ultimate reserve course student talent? Now then, you guys must understand by now, right? The true identity of Nekomaru's killer. Hold on a sec. Why does that lead to who the killer is? Why? Well, that fact just now is a very important clue and a decisive factor in identifying the killer. A decisive factor? Oh, what the fuck? Gundam was the only other person. You're the only one. He had a superior Gundam, room or a deluxe room. Something I want to ask. You. When the alarm rang at the Strawberry House Lounge, you rushed over there too, right? What's wrong with that? If the bell of it kind of made sense when the, the, the moment the that the perspective didn't change when we got out of the elevator and said that it rotated 180 degrees, it kind of started making sense in my head. You were also staying in a deluxe I am not very good at art, but what I can understand is moving an object in 3D space, especially like telling people where, where light sources come from and how the shadows should fall is like what I'm really good at. Like I'll watch people who've been doing art for a while and be like, that shadow should be a little bit this direction and the piece goes from okay to like perfect. Um, so There's this this was just a moving you in puzzle room. in my head. That's why, even though you were staying in a deluxe room, you still went to the lab. Am I right? Gundam, um, you have some sort of explanation, right? Gundam probably couldn't return to his room because of Fuyuhiko. Me? After you saw Nekomaru heading to the tower, you stayed at the lounge for a while. Am I correct? Yep, I'm very, very good at Until that. Until the moment that alarm started ringing, right? Um, the real world application is I'm very good at spatial awareness. You I know roughly where long. things are the around me without left having earlier obviously wouldn't be able to go back. Even though Nekomaru's murder was a death trap that utilized the alarm in his chest, the amount of gaps I've squeezed my car and motorcycle through is terrifying to people riding with me. Putting Nekomaru in sleep mode and tying him up with the wire. In order to do that, the killer needed to be waiting for Nekomaru at the tower. Which means when Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru, the killer was already at the tower. they tried to go back, they couldn't because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. In their original plan, the killer should have returned to their room before the alarm in the lounge went off. And they were supposed to stay in their room. They weren't planning to come out and go to the lounge. Which means they wouldn't have yeah. the alarm. Kazuichi would have definitely been like prime suspect, but he has a he he has an excuse. He wasn't he was not in the tower. After all, if they personally saw the killer sleeping in their room, it gives the killer a stronger alibi. Yeah, he's not saying much. Unfortunately, they failed to secure that alibi. I was in the lounge. So the killer couldn't go back to their room and ended up hearing the lounge's alarm. Yep.
very early, they were trying to make it look like Soda or Nagito. Because at one point, Soda was asked if he could use the parts from Nekamaru to fix the elevator, and he was like, yeah, I can. Without even knowing what parts he was going to need. That's why he couldn't just stay hidden. And it's not Nagito. Because they red herring the shit out of it. He had a tool that had like a wire cutter and stuff to pry open shit. T too fucking easy. Answer me this, including myself and my four dark devas of destruction. How many ears ten. do we possess? The answer is ten. That's right, I possess ten ears. That means I have five times the hearing of a normal human. The soundproof system here may as well not exist. Is that your argument? You really? Bastard. Do you understand the situation you're in right now? Bing, Do not bing, 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 bing. Exactly, gamer. That's why it gets easier as the game goes on. The first couple are pretty... The first one's generally pretty easy. The second and third are pretty tough, and at the fourth, fifth, it starts to be like, ah, this is manageable. Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Isn't that timing a little bing. too perfect? suspected by all of you it seems it was actually horrible. i wish fred durst was still streaming on twitch i think he might be we should find out if fred durst streams and we should raid him every time he's streaming we're going to decide who the killer is with the majority vote anyway so why don't we just go ahead and start voting it's obvious that gundam is the killer uh, you know hajime this class trial killing it's merely the opening act you know hey what do you mean oh you know it yeah dude because you'd get thrown for act. such a fucking loop perhaps i should say it's just a farce just a boring farce bing, bing, so boring, bing, so stressful bing, 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 so painfully bing, bing, bored that i might develop bing, bing, stomach ulcers bing, seriously bing, 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 let's just bing, hurry up and finish bing, this before bing, i collapse from bing, poor health bing, bing, Ding, 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 ding. Nagito. Something is it one of the girls, happened. Demon? It's it's Did probably it. one of the girls. Mm -hmm. It better not be Chiaki or Something I'm not finishing this game. Your behavior became I will <laughs> never play this game again. What? What actually happened? Did you discover something? Well, let's just leave that fun for later. And finish this over. Demon. Said opening act again. I swear to God, it better going? not be my girl Chiaki or I'm gonna be mad as fuck. But he's completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Gundam! <laughs> I was simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong since the beginning. Since the I assume beginning? that she is. Based on your assumption, I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. From there, after returning to Strawberry, <laughs> I'm just a boogie guy. Just, just, the just at the they just throw her corpse out. Correct. Like, what the fuck is this? Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? Rip, we lose Chiaki next chapter. Fuck me. As I recall, the killer tampered with the great house control panel. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess that it's Chiaki. Plus. The stopped elevator should have been facing the great house side. Because it's not going to be Sonya. I already have Sonya marked as the traitor. The would have left it at great For these reasons, it's an indisputable fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at Grape House. And what's wrong with that? If the elevator was broken at Grape House, he wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started ringing. 
The thing is, someone else has already accessed the ultimate killing floor. Are you serious? Here I thought it's already been decided. He's a mystic. Dude, Fred Durst is still a fucking hero. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome I want to start one of those campaigns of like, how many retweets do I have to get to get Fred Durst to come sing at my wedding? He's a vegan, so I'd have to provide food for him. I don't like any of these for the argument we're about to have. That elevator was the only means of travel between the two houses. That's false. As long as that elevator was broken, your assumption collapses. Plus, the elevator was broken at Grape House. If the killer cannot return to Strawberry House. Now there's Since that secret I was at passage. House at that time, there's no question that the following crime is impossible. It would have been different if they had an accomplice. Mm -hmm. There was a secret passageway. How much longer do you plan to lecture me? Why don't we stop? There is a secret right passageway. Now. We figured it out with Nagito. Oh, that's it. elevator was the only means of travel between the two houses fuck you no that's wrong mm. eat my no, cock there should have been another way to move between the two houses without the elevator such a method does not exist yes then it why does don't we ask the person who actually used that method Nagito. I did the entire game, bro. Nagito, God damn it, Fredgers. Uh, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You appeared so suddenly that one time because you used that method, right? Hello. There's a secret passage connecting the first floor of Strawberry House. Ain't my shark dad. Isn't that right? All right, Demon, can we knock this out in the next 50 minutes? Jeez. Once again, I let the reserve course show up. But you're right. There's a door on the floor of the Octagon, which is on the first floor of Strawberry House. Yeah, oh, it's that door that's on the ground. You drop right through it. After yep. I opened the door and went down. 50. You have 50 minutes left. Surprise, surprise. I ended up in the Monokuma archive. Dude, if Fred Durst would play Borderlands 3 with us, I would be so hyped. Meaning, the third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Plus, once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. If they used that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. Infinity Unlimited Flame! However, what if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead room? There's no way they didn't know. That is... Okay. I was just reading something really. If you value your life, does it stop with your scrutiny? There's no way I can stop. <laughs> I, I, dude, I'd probably have to talk to like his agent. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry.
The wire is the only thing we haven't touched Even on if yet. The turbid box doesn't exist. You could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say. Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say. Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? I can't back down! Fuck you! I already proved the secret passage exists. The secret passage was at the Octagon. Know the limits of your own reasoning! You say the killer went to the Octagon? Don't bark, you cur! You don't at least pray to the key Fuck. which dwells in the light. That's the one I fucked. Know the limits of your own reasoning. You say the killer went to the octagon. Don't We're gonna spend a good bit of time her. after this trial hitting the gotcha machine, by the way. Fuck! The Hit it again, asshole. Light. Know the limits of your own reasoning. You say the killer went to the octagon. Don't bark, you cur! If you don't want to drown in the maelstrom of blood, allow me to cut through those words! <sighs> the wire used to string up Nekomaru's body. The hammer that looked like the weapon, and the chain on the door in the tower. Oh, dude, Jun Wheel. Those are all the items that weren't in Funhouse. Where did the killer obtain them? Bing ding bing bing ding bing bing ding Ah fuck, I was supposed to record music for Victor today. Uh, your boy is actually helping out on a musical score for a video game. Since those items were used in the crime, there's no doubt that the killer went to the octagon. I have to practice it today, for tomorrow. If that's the case, we obviously know about the secret passage too, right? <laughs> Seems this is the end. Normally we'd end up listening to Hajime lecture us with a very long summary of the case. But there's no reason to waste any more time on this opening act. So I'm going to end this right now. Hey! I'd talk shit you... to Fred Durst, but out of First respect. Of all, like, I just feel like, yeah, Limp Bizkit is probably one of the lamest fucking bands ever. But the one thing you can't fucking deny is that he did it all for the Nookie. Now, um, like, you can't, like, I, can anyone in this chat not name or sing at least the chorus of one Limp Bizkit song? At that time... We didn't know the Think two about towers it. were the exact same place. Also, oh, absolutely. The in Strawberry Hall wasn't broken. But so they, they were so formulaic in making tower. catchy songs. Surprise, it's insane. Gundam was waiting for Nekomaru's arrival. Hold on. If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, what would the killer have done then? Their plan was a balancing act of uncertainties. But even if they failed, they probably wouldn't have minded. Yeah, exactly. They can just greet everyone the next morning. Exactly, dude. Happened. It hit everyone at the Come right time. It was simple. It was catchy. And despite the and fact that Fred Durst isn't a genius, the rest they of the band is insanely musically talented. I'm going West Borland writes some of the catchiest okay. riffs ever. They're so this, simple but so catchy. Successfully lured Nekomaru to Strawberry Tower. There's no way he could fight head on with the robotic Nekomaru. Like the guitarist from Linkin Park. So He's not particularly Nekomaru, talented. He rendered Nekomaru powerless but without fighting. Every Linkin Park song that's led by guitar is Hold so fucking on. catchy. You knew what did you ding, just ding, say? Ding. That I did it battle. Um, hmm? Sam What's Rivers incredibly that? talented bassist. Don't that band would not be where they are without me. him just rolling Don't those bass lines. Me. I cannot ignore those words. John Otto is a fucking incredible drummer. Why are you angry all of a sudden? 
Like, yeah, Nookie has a, has that weird, funky bass guitar line, because there's actually two basses with that one, theoretically. In actuality, the, the, it, it's a the E string off of the bass. Um, but without that, like, really catchy kick and drum beat, that song has no legs. Maybe I'm just a human destined for hell. However... I cannot finish just yet. I cannot finish. Yeah, they could have been acceptable, but they suck. What do you intend Kid Rock should have just shut the fuck up, fuck up going to destroy your um, and not been like the racist redneck that he is, and he probably would have actually had respect for people that don't fuck their sister and live in mobile homes. You said I pressed Nekomaru's good night button. However, that button was on the back of Nekumaru's neck. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. Mm-hmm. It's not easy to get the drop on Nekumaru Nekumaru. would notice, but you have four fucking hamsters that do your bidding, bro. If it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. But it wasn't. Just as I thought, truly frail. Succumbing so easily to this simple argument. <laughs> if you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitations. Yo, what's up, Quads? We're about to dunk on your boy, bro. You're the one who's wrong. <laughs> Such a Oh my god, line. his early However, stuff was terrible. I say that I'm satisfied. Bawa to Ball was just catchy, but it was it was literally like a new metal formula. That literally was just new metal, is what it was, and that's why it was so catchy, and everybody liked it because new metal was fucking hot. System of a Down was big at that time. POD was big at that time. The POD wasn't really new metal. They were like, they were the love child of like new metal and corn with that weird kind of. Their bassist just did whatever and they had all sorts of shit over the top. I won't Time to say you. goodbye to your boy, Quaz. For the Tanaka Empire! With her. Crushed as David prophesies! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Crushed as David prophesied! Show me the cadaver! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! With him! Crushed as David prophesied! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! With him! Crushed as David prophesied! For the Tanaka Empire! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! It's Nekobaru's back. Uh, Do you really think I can get behind uh, him so easily? Four Dark Davos. This is the end! Fuck you! We win. Ah, oh, fuck, it's still have to do the closing argument, him. though. You should like the timeline. Very weird, very Christian, but like they were Christian in the way that Demon Hunter was. If anyone remembers Demon Hunter, to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Of course, it'd be impossible for a normal but it would have been possible. Like it was not very. We love you, Jesus. It was more of a actual music band that kind of liked Jesus. I, I think Youth of the Nation was a is a very powerful track still. Like the message behind it is still very, very important. That was a super important music video. It wouldn't surprise me. Most bands in that time were very fucking weird. Like look at Sublime and their fucking dog. Um System of a Down, Actually, never like really doing family. interviews and just being fucked out of the mind 24 7. Could you imagine how amazing System of a Down would be right now if they hey, didn't have such a problem with drugs and money? Smart it must yeah, Five Iron Frenzy's fun. 
Even Skillet. Skillet's pretty dope, too. Oh, I, I will always tip my hat to Skillet. How about it? I went to school near, I think it was Revolution Fest, which was like a Christian rock music festival. And we could hear it from campus. Um, Not just myself. And Skill put on a really good set. How splendid my subordinates are. I have no recourse but to admit it. Admit it? Did you say. I've met the guys from Yellow Card. Also, it's extremely cool and relaxed. To hell. And, like, this was on the reunion tour, and they were just, like, hanging out in the front of the Chameleon Club. Like, once you're inside. And they're like, hey guys, thanks for coming. I was like, wait, you're the violinist and you're the bassist. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're just hanging out, dude. We just want to say hi to everybody. Like, we're really excited to be back, and we just really wanted to, like, hang out. I was like, yeah, dude, can we, like, like hang out and get finished with you? And you're like, dude, dope. with your own two hands. All right, closing argument time. Oof. I mean, to be fair. Stock, here we go. Put it away. in this case fuck you Gundam Tanaka congratulations you are the asshole first they destroyed the contact elevator this separated Nagito and the others in Strawberry House from our group in Grape House next they lured Nikamaru out by himself by turning back all the clocks in the funhouse by two hours. Additionally, in order to secure an alibi, the killer went to the Strawberry House Lounge and set the wall clock's alarm to 5.30 a.m. After finishing their preparations, the killer went to Strawberry Tower with the necessary tools in hand. 
They obtain these tools from the Octagon, which you can enter once you clear the final death. This means the killer discovered the secret of the Funhouse faster than anybody else. That secret being, Strawberry House and Grape House are actually the same building. On the morning of the incident, Nekomaru woke up and headed over Gundam to Gundam Tanuki. <laughs> what up, BT? I have so many fucking Gashi coins to spend. I have to finish up with Akane. Need to hang out with her there, twice. Who you Hiko, who was at the lounge by coincidence, witnessed Nekomaru. According to Fuyuhiko's testimony, that was around 5 a.m., but by that point, the killer had already messed with our perception of time. In actuality, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 a.m. That's also the same time Monokuma Tai Chi begins. Nekomaru went to Great Tower to participate in that. However, because the contact elevator was broken, Nekomaru was unable to go to Great Tower. So he decided to try going to Strawberry Tower. But the killer was waiting for him there. Dude, I'm so close to getting her panties. I'm actually pretty close to Sonya too. With the power of hamsters, they were able to press. With the, the power of hamsters, to neck. literally no one ever in the, the the annals of human history has anyone ended a sentence with with the power of hamsters. Rendering him immobile. From there, the began preparing to use the bang, ultimate weapon. Bang, bang. My question is, what do they do with the um? What do they do with the bodies? First, they set the alarm in Nekomaru's chest to 7.30 a.m. so he'd wake up. Then they tied him up with a metal wire, tied the tip of the wire into a loop, and hung it on the doorknob. After leaving Strawberry Tower, the killer then destroyed the door button to Strawberry Hall. Modlu's gonna to lose to his job. Guaranteed. And to keep us from discovering the secret of the building's structure that they used to kill Nekomaru. Then, they used the secret Octagon Passageway to travel to Great House. After arriving at Grape Hall, they pressed the button to open the door to the tower. When that happened, the elevator-like floor of the tower began descending. Wow, man. I can't and believe Nekomaru's that. body was still inside, dangling upside down in mid-air from the wire. The killer entered Grape Tower to see if their secretary Acting was Secretary of the Navy is gonna get his shit kicked in and placed a hammer on the floor to look like the weapon then wrapped a chain around the back door this was done to make us falsely believe we couldn't enter the tower from this shit's fucking ridiculous dude the navy's about to fucking revolt with this the killer finished their setup and tried to go back to their room using the secret passage so they could craft their alibi when Nekomaru died from the fall. But something unexpected happened. Fuyuhiko, who saw Nekomaru early, was still at the Fucking lounge. Fucking shitty Seknab, boys. As a result, the killer couldn't return to their room, and with no options available, time ran out. The lounge's wall clock alarm started ringing at 5.30, well, actually, seven. To avoid a worst-case scenario, the killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko with the others. When the wall clock's alarm rang, that was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. He woke up while he was still hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. 
Originally, the loop of wire was only supposed to slip off the doorknob. Alec, bad news for Wisconsin. But because there was a heavier load than expected, the doorknob uh, ended up They don't have to count absentee ballots. Everyone has to go vote in person in the middle of a fucking pandemic, according Michael to the Supreme Court. Shout out to Brett Kavanaugh as the deciding vote for being a shit. He crashed into the pillar, which decapitated him on impact and died. The sound of Nekomaru's impact echoed throughout the funhouse. However, by this point, the killer's plan was about to fail, thanks to the broken doorknob and Fuyuhiko. Meaning, the killer is someone who wouldn't have heard the alarm if they were in the deluxe room. They Fucking also wouldn't have been able dude. to return to their guest room. Because <clears throat> Nekomaru isn't human, but he's still a person. Kavanaugh, a fucking gap, dude. I can't think of anyone else but time you. to time to fucking change the rules in the Supreme Court, dude. And it's not just because I don't like what's happening. It's fucking ridiculous. Good win. So after this, I need to spend as many gotcha coins as I can and get fucking. Dude, it, like, I'll put it this way. I have no time or energy for people that that abuse or hurt women. Period. Period. Like, never cool. I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe. You, you killed Nakumaru. Oh, all right, I gotta spend like these that. gotcha coins so I can get Akane's panties, you, you know? Gotta keep to my priorities in fucking check here. Regret? Then finish it. Cast your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka. My beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin. Ninety one, ninety, hundred, hundred. Oh, this is one of my best scores so far. I got an A. Still not an S rank, but we got an A. Look at that. That was fucking great, dude. This result isn't all that exciting. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. See you, Gundam. Bye, Quaz's boy. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? I know I did. Please you confessed it. Crap! I bit my tongue at the most important part! I just need to spend all these fucking gotcha coins, okay? I need to get stuff that Akane likes. And Sonya likes at this point. Bubba, what you doing? You laying on top of the cat now. Now you're not sleeping on the bed, right? Food. Sleeper. Reliant. You ready? Reliant, it is punishment time. What are you what are you doing? <laughs> damn 
it. This punishment is sad? No, it's not. This Fuck him and his weird hamsters. The they probably crawl up his butthole to stay warm. You. <laughs> Let's make history. Fucking Richard Gear look alike. That's a that's a serious throwback reference, by the way. <laughs> I can see it. Could it be? Sensing even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nekomaru. The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I nearly forgot this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Hmm. That's a very good one. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> <laughs> I am the Warlock, Gundam Tanaka, heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I do not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. I'm watching my buddy uh, make homemade so shrimp, ham, and andouille. Splendid. It's like ravioli, but I think he's your gonna spirit. bake them. I shall kill you with oh, boiled. I won't go easy boiled and pan fried. That's my boy, Dev. Back. Shrimp Don't and smoked ham, pasta with tomato, basil, and pan. Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire! That is... Dude, he fucking killed people, dog. Fucking dunk on him. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Smashing. You weakling. You will die! Let me ask. Um. Fine. 
Listen well. I shall engulf this world. <sighs> Fucking ridiculous. Anywho. Yeah, but like everyone ruins Undertale. Like that's the thing. When you stream Undertale, people will come in and spoil it for you. You. And like that's the community and fuck that shit. Okay? What? Fuck those people. I'll give them my address and they can come fight me. Damn it. Fine. Let me get better at 9S's hacking before we do that. I'm gonna have to start speeding this shit up, by the way, because I have to spend a lot of time at the gotcha machine. Fall. Oh. You. Let's make history. <laughs> well? <laughs> My name is Gundam Tanaka. Fade like dust in the wind. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, Reliant, you're gonna miss it. Wait, I beg of you. Stop kicking me, babe. Huh? I beg of you. Help. Fine. What is it, my four dark... Are you worried about me? Oh, my... F However, there is no need to... I was simply visiting for a moment. And now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. I have not played Undertale. That is why, until the very I've seen speedruns, so I know most of it, but... Most of the text I hear is... Courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing. Let us laugh uproariously! <laughs> that is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very... And open sesame pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! This is voice actors really good. <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! Reliant! It's, it's punishment, punishment time! time. All right, see ya, bud. Fucking weirdo. Why do they have fruit attached to them? The ultimate breeder. About to get run the fuck over. Nothing happened. See ya. Do we get to keep the hamsters or no? Was a thing. Damn it. D damn it. The worst. Oh. 
You are right. You are right. All right. There's only one more island. Now then. <laughs> hey, hey. It's not like that. <laughs> huh. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh. Right? That's important. Manakuma, up. Now then, what's this? What's the matter? <sighs> hmm? <laughs> well. Hmm. He mad as hell. Hello. Hey. Hmm? Got caught. Hey. The that's <laughs> all right. That's time left. Hey, hey, we made it through chapter four. It's time to gotcha. There are seven students left. I need to go to the fucking gotcha machine so bad. I got one of his earrings. Um... Shh. 
stupid fool. Oh my. Hey. Huh? What's up? I'll beat you up. <laughs> I am concerned. Jeez. Huh? All right. My. I'm no doll. I'm Mini Mario. It's Mini Mario. <laughs> It's fucking tiny Mechamaru. Man. Hmm. Engines revving. Huh. <laughs> um. Got fucking dunked on. <laughs> Miss Sonia? Oh my. Are you kidding me? Jeez. <laughs> I am Mini Mario. Man. That's right. You serious? Of course. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> well. Hey, hey. But still. Alright, yeah, no Nagito. Now then. He has the file. Hey, best. Huh? Ah. Now, I'm about to fucking get him. I am sorry. <laughs> huh? Huh? You? What? Hey, hey. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Uh. <laughs> Oh my god, I just want to use the fucking gotcha machine. This is like worse than, more, than when Morgana won't let you clean your fucking room. <laughs> Sounds about right. I have no idea where Andor is, but I know he'll come back to bed when I try and go to bed. So this... I guess it has an ambiance beat. Oh my god, no. I just want to use the fucking gotcha machine! Oh my god, I'm blasting through all of this.
This is bad. Hey, hey, hey. I mean... I have 400 gacha coins to fucking spend. Yep. Military base of some sort. I'm trying so hard to get through this island. We might have to start off the next episode with fucking... with gotcha rules. God, very finicky. Exactly, infinite. You. Obviously. <laughs> All right. Keep going. I'm gonna have to spend like at least an hour playing with the fucking gotcha machine. you have Makes sense. Nice. 
so Minami gets teed up and thrown in a garbage can. Yo. Well. Damn. Huh. Later. Alright, we'll finish this and then we'll have to save. I'm gonna have to do gacha coins after this. I have 400 to spend. I need to get Akane and Sonya wrapped up. I think I have enough time. Huh? Like. Now then. Hmm. However. Well. Well, yeah. Hey. That's wrong. <laughs> Ugh. Please wait. It's starting to get pumped. Hey. Whoa! Damn it. I Don't be a fooled. fucking idiot. Four gacha coins to fucking spend. Junko survive somehow. Right? Huh? That is an order. That's right. Well, <laughs> this is trouble. Well, <laughs> actually. <laughs> In before Sudoku. <laughs> this is exciting. Now then, GG. Yeah, dude, Gorimi is coming. Yeah, what's up, <laughs> M and A? We're we're just trying to wrap this up real quick. Bye now. Call it out. Don't worry, we'll we'll bounce over and raid someone hey, who's really hey. good. Don't worry about it. Are you kidding? Damn it! Please wait.
I'm missing two from the second island, one from the fifth island, one from the fourth. So tomorrow, Nier Automata, FF15, Witcher 3. Fucking great work today, everybody. Really, really grounded out. Sorry we didn't get anything productive done with Nier Automata. Really tried our best. Um, then we tried working on some E stuff, but as it turns out, there's just not fucking working. Um, sadly, sadly. We are holding above 150 sub points for the first time in eight or nine months, I think. So thank you all very much for your continued support and love. Um, this channel's growing, growing slowly. We're making new friends, super awesome. I, I want to keep growing this channel. I really, really do. I want it to be bigger. I want people to feel comfortable. Um, if I remember to grab... Someone remind me to grab Cowboy Bebop, and we will fucking play it tomorrow. Um, I also have to do some recording work, which I might allow you all to listen to while I'm doing it. Yeah, we're over 150 sub points. Next emote slot is unlocked at 400, so we still have a long way to go, but, like... Uh, I have 150... 34 subs right now. It's is super fucking cool. Ahem. That shit's Hope insane. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's shit, show some Shit, we're almost at 300,000 views too. Sure we're to getting there. We're trucking. Today. All right, let's save it. All tonight. Shut the fuck up, Hajime. All right, y'all. Much love. Much peace. We will return tomorrow with Nier Automata. Do not forget, we are taking our first day off in a very long time on Thursday. Uh, let's go raid our boy Fizz. Fizz makes really, really cool fucking art. Um, so let's give him some love. Y'all make sure you have a terrific, terrific night. And we'll see you tomorrow. We'll be in the Discord early, and then we'll be streaming just as early.